so uh, welcome back guys so as you have seen in the thumbnail we are going to talk about the displacement uh, a map or a how to displacement how to apply displacement texture so i'm gonna quickly show you that go to the plugins then go to the modeling and enable this modeling tools uh, check this tick mark and restart the engine after restarting uh, you you go here and then select modeling so here what we are going to do for now is uh, i'm going to get this uh, rectangle keep it a 400 by 400 uh, measurement uh, and uh, then i'm going to create two different different uh, uh, rectangles and i am also going to get this box uh, it is also 400 by 400 and this is i'm going to keep it a uh, maybe 10 is it fine or just maybe five okay and it is this one is also need to complete i will tell you uh, later guys why i am uh, also adding this box so first of all what we are going to do is just tick little bit up so we are going to try uh, start this from this so first of all we are going to download some uh, mega scan assets you can just uh, go to there and then go to the pixel bridge let it load then from the surfaces download any uh, detailed surfaces which has some details so i've already downloaded some of them so on the surface roof tiles so let me just give it this to the here so you can see that it is our uh, roof tiles so i am going to apply this to, to, to all of this okay. you can see that you can see here that it is a uh, completely you can see it is completely flat there is no depth you can say that there is no depth in this uh, in this uh, asset or material i applied or oh, if you if you are move the lighting and you can see lighting is changing but there is no depth uh, actual depth in the uh, this uh, material so what we are going to do i am going to select these two these two are for the reference only uh, how it looks and these two we are going to actually add it so first i'm going to go with this rectangle then there is a remesh option from the remesh i'm going to keep it a fifty thousand. after fifty thousand, click on accept it is fifty thousand uh, happened and uh, going to do this for same for them thousand accept okay it happened and now what we are going to do is uh simply we have to do is go to display option from in the deform there is a dis display option uh, in that display option uh, you are here going to see we are too much noise and it looks so much weird so what we are going to do is uh going to texture to, to texture 2d map so here if you click there then it will give something like that so what you have simply do is there is a third option like this is a green uh, i don't know mostly how you recognize it i'm still uh, don't get it because here you can see that there is, there is a name uh, it is normal map there is a distance map and uh, there is a ordp i don't have full information but it is al always the third uh, last one so just drag drop it here and after some time you can see that there is some detail uh, detailing uh, pop up but it is uh, still so much weird so we are going to check for the green and after green it is still not a thing what we wanted so keep going to going for the blue okay so for the blue you can see that there is a nice uh, texture so for the changing it i am going to keep it a uh, 25 it is a displacement uh, uh you can say the intensity it will do how how much it is displaced so uh it is it look fine for me like it is giving the rooftop uh effect so i will immediately accept it uh, so as you can see so accepting will going to take some time so here you can see that it is done and now what i'm going to click uh, click do is to get this in a proper shape that it won't feel so much weird okay so yeah it, this is fine for me so here you can see that it looks so much realistic now that it is an actual asset we have created so yeah here you can see it is not still not so much uh detailed or thing but it is actually uh you can say it is a uh, yes it is like it will good to go here you can see that it is totally flat if you can see from above it just look a uh, little bit different but he, this one this one is completely giving feeling that it is actually uh, true so now what is the uh, reason behind i have created this uh, 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 box one and this is so uh, simple plane so you can here you can see that if you go down then there you can see that there is nothing behind it it just give you a glitch effect so now we are going to do same thing for for this one keep it little bit small then going to apply displacement and uh, displacement you can see that it is a uh, very very 
bad looking so guys uh, you can uh, i have again repeating this uh, uh, as uh, i have shown you it, this, there is some issue but what it just happened is there is some glitch so i i went to the green and again went back to the blue so it is now uh, completely fixed okay now it looks so much good okay so here you can see that it is perfectly balanced and there is no uh, noise not too much noise in this uh, so you can easily play with this one so so here you can see that there is a no noise as we are we have seen in the other uh, that other asset so i so just you need to accept this so it will going to take some time so here you can see that uh, let me just quickly go to the normal thing then detailing in the roof is also very good in popping up and here you can see that if you see from the below below and still you can see that it is completely looking great it is not a getting a kind of this kind of thing like it is not totally blurred out okay and uh, again uh, and we, what you have to do so just what you what you have to do is just a right click on it then go to the browse to asset tab or you can also be so this one control b to go there so here just you don't have to do anything just click on enable nanite option and apply the changes Here we have applied the nanite option and just save it, save this package, then click it. So it is now good to go. Now, here our one asset is created. So, you just need to do is drag and drop this thing, and it will uh, show you as a proper, uh, uh, proper static mesh. And from this static mesh, you can see that there is a whole detailed mesh. And if you if you want to give this a uh, texture, then just don't have to do anything, just copy paste this as as it there and you can see that there is all completely detailed thing created so till uh, so i hope you guys like this tutorial and uh, you like the information about displacement map or displacement texture so we will see you in the next video